Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Rail Fine. I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So we have a pretty messed up story for you today. It's uh, it's a mom and uh, two men, her boyfriend and the boy's uncle. So her brother, I'm assuming. Um, they allowed a pit bull to maul the six-year-old boy while he was handcuffed. That is as horrific as what it sounds. Now, I personally, I, I don't, I don't like pit bulls, and uh, I, I don't think they should exist. I think they're, um, I think they're, they're just unhinged weapons. That's, that's just my opinion. So this is a pretty, pretty messed up story. So stay tuned for uh, that. But first, uh, like, subscribe, share, help me grow this channel. All of those things, and if if you're so inclined, maybe consider supporting my locals. ThirdRailFi.locals.com. Be a supporter there, and uh, you know we'll get uh, to do all the fun stuff. It's the best way to, to support this channel and help it grow. But also this uh, this video, because who doesn't want to be featured on a video about a dog eating off a boy's face, is sponsored by DLVR Deliver. This is a small. Pennsylvania logistics company that has very big ambitions. Uh, in 2024, 2025, they're uh, uh, expanding their wings to other states. So it's a very exciting time for this plucky little company right here. And they say that they're passionate advocates for local businesses and they're committed to bridging the gap between retailers and their customers in the e commerce world. Their dedication goes beyond just moving packages. It's about embodying heart and spirit of every small business that they serve by emphasizing efficiency, personal touches, and collaborative partnerships. They aim to reshape the future of local e-commerce, ensuring that small retailers just don't just compete, but thrive. So again, this is a Pennsylvania business. If you need to move stuff, whether it be, I don't know, pharmaceuticals, illegal migrants, whatever. They're the, they are, they are uh, massively professional. They're inexpensive. I mean, let's be honest. They are as cheap as a Filipino hooker with a discount. I mean, that's you're you're gonna save yourself some money there. The pharmaceutical, medical, defense, legal, retail. So whether it is that you need to, I don't know, whether or not you're uh, delivering migrants across Pennsylvania or you're delivering bombs to drop on Gaza, these guys are your guys. So do that. Deliver. Now back to the face biting. A mother, her boyfriend, and an uncle are all facing child endangerment charges after handcuffing a six-year-old who was then mauled by a pit bull. The incident happened Saturday, August 17th, at a home in Northeast Ohio where deputies received a call about the boy after he had been bitten by the pit bull. Again, I am massively not a fan of, of these dogs. I don't think it matters if you're the, if, if you're uh, Caesar the dog whisperer. I think there's that switch in their head that that will just go off. The writer of pit bulls for dummies. So the best way to own a pit bull is to not own one at all. And then he detailed his horrific story how he had two pit bulls. He like rescued them or whatever. They were babies and he brought them up or then he tells the story. Uh, he goes on to say in the story that um, he, he gave all of, all of his dogs. He had a bunch of dogs, uh, a bone, like, like big juicy, like bones. Every dog got one kind of thing. And that something about that caused one of his pit bulls to snap. No rhyme, no reason, no nothing. And this was a perfect dog right up until this moment. And this pit bull went after one of his other dogs and started ripping it and tearing it into actual pieces, which then got the other pit bull excited. And it flicked that switch in its head. So now it's a tug of war with this little dog. And they're tearing the dog apart. Blood everywhere. The dog is now dead. The uh, dog's owner was f freaking out, didn't know how to stop it. And then had to contend with the pit bull running around the neighborhood, running around their yard with a dead carcass in its mouth. His beloved little dog 
was dead in this dog's mouth. And then he's like, the best, best thing you could do for a pit bull is don't own one. The, the, breed, the breed has to go. I mean, I mean it, it, it's probably been genetically bred into a corner. It's time for that breed to go. That's just my opinion and others' opinions, but whatever. In court, Angela Williams, the boy's mother, argued that she did not know it was illegal to handcuff a child after she and the other defendants allegedly did so as a punishment after he failed to clean up after the dog. First, I want to say uh, one thing that I, I learned in police school was ignorance of the law is no excuse. Sometimes that might be a defense. It's possible. But typically speaking, it's not. If you break the law, you break the law. The second is this wasn't even this kid's dog. It wasn't his dog. Why, why, why is the dog owner not cleaning up and being responsible for their own dog? And why would that punishment fit the crime of not cleaning up after the dog? You're going to handcuff a child? Police don't even like handcuffing children. Sure, they do it if, if, they, if they need to, but optically, they don't like doing it. That's terrible optics. Like, if you handcuff a kid, you look like a dick. So the little boy was, again, he's six years old. That's crazy. I got a six-year-old. I couldn't imagine a pit bull eating his face. He was bitten on the neck and ear and then flown to hospital, but is expected to recover, his grandmother says. So Robert, Robert Mikulski Jr. is the boy's uncle, and he was identified as the owner of the dog and the residence where the attack took place. Where William's boyfriend is Taylor Desiree Marvin Brown, which is weird why, why your name is Desiree. Um, he was also present for a family visit. This woman goes on to say, the mom, she says, the dog's not even my dog. The cuffs are not even my cuffs. Williams argued in court in Ashland County on Wednesday, insisting that she did not know it was illegal to handcuff a child. What, do you, what does it matter that the dog isn't even your dog? You handcuffed the child and then allowed the, the dog to eat your child's face. She goes on to say, I didn't even know the cuffs were illegal or anything was wrong with it. My uncle told me it was okay. Ashland County Prosecutor Chris Tunnel, meanwhile, painted a picture that sought to provide a backdrop for the disturbing chain of events, which culminated with the boy being taxed shortly after he was handcuffed. So this defendant and the co-defendants, they handcuffed him, both hands, and then applied a second set of cuffs to his feet, Tunnel told the judge during the trio's initial hearing. They were in the process of using a rope to try and tie him to a chair. And when he came off the chair, and then while on the ground, he was attacked by the pit bull. So, I mean, I've, I've seen a bunch of pit bull attack videos recently, um, whether the Daily Mail is covering it or on Twitter. I don't know if uh, pit bull attacks are increasing or we're just covering it more. But I see a lot of them, and they're really, really scary. And I couldn't imagine being attacked by one. I extra can't imagine being a small boy, being attacked by one, and having my feet and my hands handcuffed. I can't get up. I can't run away. I can't push the dog off. I can't defend myself. I can't do anything except be attacked by a dog. It is the most disgusting thing, I think, ever. So this prosecutor added how Williams and the two other co-defendants handcuffed the child at the home that Saturday simply because he did not clean up after the dog, a dog that wasn't his. The mother maintained that she did not know that she did anything wrong. I wonder if she thought that this was all just a horrible accident. I never meant any harm, she said. I really didn't. The prosecutor added how Williams' daughter was also present but was not involved in the attack. Now, believe it or not, dear viewer, Williams does not have custody of either child, but had them both at a time for a scheduled visit, and their father was not identified. So imagine the uh, 
the father is like, okay, I guess we'll, uh, you can have your, your visit here. Your mother is terrible for whatever reason that she doesn't have custody. So have, um, have, have some time with your, with your mother and her brother or whatever. And I will come get you shortly. And then you find out, oh, yes, there's been an accident. Your child was handcuffed and a pit bull mauled his face, was, 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 was tearing at his neck. I think I would be over the moon furious. The boy's grandmother, asking to not be named, told WSAZ3 how her grandson is expected to recover. And thank goodness for that. Despite the horrifying nature of the incident, she says, I come in and I look at my grandson who is sitting on the floor and not to cuss. I'm like, why the fuck does he have handcuffs on? She said, recalling how she told the three defendants, get them off of him now. She also described how she jumped in to help him, showing uh, the bite marks left on her hands still in the process. Still, compared to her grandson, she said, she got lucky. Now, I imagine a pit bull attacking something is the equivalent of like a blender and you trying to stop it from attacking, getting your hands in there is like putting your hand in the blender. It was just a reaction when the dog did it. I automatically just reached down. I saw where the dog was going, like it went in slow motion. Following the attack, the boy's mom, her boyfriend, and the owner of the dog were all arrested. However, according to the Ashland County Sheriff, the uncle, Mikulski and the dog left before deputies arrived. So after all of this stuff and the boy's dying on the floor and of, and of course, thank heavens, he, he made it. But after a pit bull attack to your neck and the side of your face, uh, you're, you're probably dying in, in a pool of blood. It's probably awful. Um, he was like, oh shit, gotta go the... The, the ambulance and the cops are coming. We gotta go. I gotta take my dog out of here. You're a good uncle. Yeah, uncle of the year. I mean, this mom is a piece of garbage. Her boyfriend, a piece of garbage. The uncle, a piece of garbage. Is your job, like, those three individuals have a role in shepherding this kid safely into adulthood, leaving him a well-rounded human being. And they, they're like, you know what we'll do? We'll handcuff him because he didn't clean up dog poop. Oh no, the dog's eating his face. Whoops, I didn't know that was illegal. They're garbage. Absolutely despicable. So detectives added that the child had been restrained with two sets of cuffs on his hands and his feet when the dog attacked. Deputies said the dog and its owner were found shortly after deputies descended on the scene, hiding in a cubby hole. So he's like, oh shit, this is my house. I live here. I don't want. I don't want to be in trouble. I don't. I don't want them to take my dog. So I need to flee. Let's go hide. Let's go hide in a in, in a little cubby hole. He's a piece of garbage. Williams is charged with endangering children, while Mikulski is charged with endangering children and tampering with evidence. Brown, meanwhile, is charged with endangering children and obstruction of justice. He had his bond set for two hundred and fifty. Mikulski's was set for 150000 while Williams was set at 300000 I don't know why the boyfriend got obstruction charges as well. It didn't say that in the story. I don't know why that was, was the case. The boy's grandmother on Monday said that she's just grateful he is recovering more than a week after his ordeal, saying... Saying um, about the about the boy, he's a sweetheart. He really is. The pit bull was taken into um, custody to be housed as a vicious dog. The investigation into the incident remains ongoing and is currently with the Ashland County Prosecutor's Office. So tell me, guys, what do you think about that? What do you think about punishing a child by handcuffing them, hands and feet? And then they go, oh, no, he's falling on the ground while a dog eats his face. I, I, can't, I can't believe this is a, a, a real story. So mom and two men allowed Pitbull to maul six-year-old boy while he was handcuffed. I'm glad that boy's okay. Anyways, um, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I love you all. 
and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace.